If you were walking by on this street in San Jose, you'd think this looked like just the outside of another ordinary house. The property owner here tells us that actually there's a part that he rents out in the back behind me for a church that comes here a couple of times a week. He says this latest incident with baby Brandon's kidnapping is just another concerning case involving this church. Police showed up at this house in San Jose to investigate on Monday after baby Brandon was kidnapped. Residents tell us there are about 20 people who live here, separate from another portion of the house that's rented out as an apostolic church. The residents we talked to don't go to the church, but other people who are members told us that baby Brandon's family goes here, as does Yesenia Guadalupe Ramirez. She's now a suspect in the kidnapping. I say again, 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 and again. So what is going on? You know what I mean? Santiago Garcia rents the property to the church. He confirmed these YouTube videos from Iglesia Apostolis y Profetas are of the church on his property. I told them about it. I said, hey, you guys not supposed to be in this place anymore. Several months ago, he says police came after the pastor's three-year-old granddaughter died inside the church. He was told the child was very sick and was brought in for members to pray for her, but no one took her to the hospital. And I told them, hey, you can't keep a little girl inside dying if he's sick, you know. After this kidnapping, Garcia says he doesn't think he will rent to the church anymore. And while we didn't see anyone from the church here tonight, we're told that people did show up here for church services earlier on this week. And we also heard from people who live around here that they were frustrated. They had to stay outside overnight on Monday while police investigated this kidnapping. In San Jose, Alyssa Gord, NBC Bay Area News.